Okay, it's uh, multiple parts in four. Um, so if you guys notice, I did get the piece on the back, and if you're looking at it, you should have a crossover on the back piece right here and on both sides. Again, it makes it structurally sound, and if you look, it's even. Um, and you can eyeball that when you're putting it into position as it's still cooling down. Um, so you're going to go up at the top, and you're going to go the opposite. This is going to go together so fast now, guys. And I forgot to do it on the other side. You want to do the same tip if you don't want the tip showing. Now, if you notice, this one is one way. You want to go the opposite way. And make sure it's at the top. You want to make sure it's even. And then hold it there. Move it to where you got to. And that's going to form the top part of the box. Almost done, guys. Can you believe it? Now this is my second design. This one's a little bit longer to make than the first design. The first design actually looks like a missionary rocker. And again, it just depends on the structure and I will show that in another video in another week or so. And again, if you're noticing, and Gina, my daughter, God bless you. If you're noticing, I'm trying to line it up. Now we have formed the pocket. And you will see we have a place for a pen or mechanical pencil or pencil regular pen so that is done now we just have to put the seat together the big thing that you want to make sure this one took four I've had some take six it just depends on the um, how your structure is going so my suggestion is to take a bunch of them sit them down make sure they're um, about the same size and do them before you get them on the seat because we're going to do the seat first because we are only at the seat, not the top and the back. So you're going to want to go in and you want to go at this part. You want to do the sides first. And then I'll give you some extra tips if you want. Personally, I don't want to do it. But again, here's the notch. You want to put the notch in the back. You want it to cradle exactly in that notch. And you want it to hit the back structure because this is where the pins are going to stop at. Or the pencils. Gel pins fit in here perfectly, as Kara showed. I actually use it for um, my white gel pins. I, I always have two or three white gel pins. And then, again, I'm going to cradle it. Make sure that it's even. And you're going to notice that these little notches here are going to line up. Now, before you put in the center pieces, what I always do is I go and check and see if I can fit three in or four in. So in this one, weirdly, <laughs> will fit five in when this one didn't. So it, it really depends. Just know that the, the amount of clothespins just change. And it really doesn't matter because on this one, I'm going to be putting down um, cork, as I said in the beginning of the videos. Or if you're doing stick pins, you're going to be putting a foam with fabric or fufu and whatever. So... You can easily, now the problem with this, if you try to go all the way across, and I will show you this, you have to work very quickly. Once you put a lot and even that, you got to work very, very quickly because it will dry very quick. And it will start to line up. You watch, you got to work very fast. And when you're done, that line is right there. And again, your heat gun, if, you, if you're anal, it doesn't really matter. It is going to get covered up. Now that one, again, took five, and this one wouldn't. It just, I, I've had where it's taken six. Uh, but this one's solid. This one's not. It's not a big deal. Because, again, they're both going to be covered, plus decorated. So each one of them have a different personality, I guess. Now that the seat is done, now we work on the back. And I think I have bought... Or my husband helped me buy because I was down. Or he went out and he got them. Um, three or four bags to do eight or nine of them. Okay, so now what you're looking at is you're going to balance the back. Um, where the notch is, you want the big part at the bottom. And you're going to balance it off the arm. And in, sometimes if you look, because it was slightly off. Um, when I told you that it was slightly off, that's the reason why you want to use your heat gun. And I'm not going to do it, so I'm not worried about it. Um... If you look on this side, it's going to fit perfectly because I did it perfectly. <laughs> this side, as I told you as we were going through, isn't. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to put this in here and just make sure that you keep those kind of uh, things in mind when you're doing your balancing. 
my daughter's like, oh, come on, Mom. So, yes, I am in a wheelchair. And my nails so need to be redone. Okay, so that piece is done. You're going to go to the other side. You want to do from the outside in always, 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 always outside in. As you can see. Now if you want to flip it around and do the back next, it's the opposite but the same. And again, I want to check it. That one's too short. So again, be aware of your pieces. Now I always dry fit or you can do it on the, um, see that one's really short. I guess it really doesn't matter if you line them up right. Some of them are skinnier though. That one's skinny. So I think I'm going to take that really skinny one out. Now if you can see, it's not going to let me put in another one. So I'm going to have to, because the skinny one won't fit in there. If you notice it won't fit so you're gonna have to go slowly and put these in and again it's gonna be like that so it's not gonna be a big deal if you're covering it which is what I'm going to be doing so I'm gonna be covering mine up with and I'm leaving a gap lining up and I'm going to go the opposite, work my way in. And you wouldn't worry about putting a whole lot in of the hot glue. I'm just making sure there's somewhat even gaps. Just so that it doesn't look stupid. And then I'm going to work my way in. Once again, left to right, right to left, doesn't matter. And... Again, it's trying to line that line up at the top. Don't worry about so much of the gap. I'm trying to move that one up so it's trying to level it up here. It's more important to have it level at the top because everything else is going to be covered and structured. Now, a lot of people have made comments that they haven't seen these in years just because they haven't been brought back in years. And I am bringing them back. Okay, so now that back is done. Look how cool that is. And again, we go to the back. Repeat. And again, you want the flat side up. Shut up, Roxy. Okay, I think we're going to get this. We're going to get it. And this is where you want to make sure, once again, it's lined up. But you want to make sure it's even at the top. you got to eyeball it. Working way outside in. Okay, well, we're going to have to stop and do another video, guys, because the battery's dying and we are at the almost end anyway. So, be right back.